So in this video, we'll try to understand how to draw cam profile. Now in this case, we have to draw a cam profile to operate a knife edge follower using the following data. The outstroke of the follower is 120 degree with simple harmonic motion. Then outstroke dwell is 60 degree. Return stroke is 120 degree with uniform velocity and dwell for the remaining period of cam rotation. Lift of the follower or stroke of the follower is 30 mm and least or minimum radius of the cam is 5 cm and we are assuming that the cam rotates in clockwise direction. So for this specification we have to draw the cam profile. Now first we will see how to draw the displacement diagram in this particular case. Then we will actually construct it and then we will see the with the help of animation how to actually construct it so that you can easily understand the given procedure. Now here we have taken the space diagram scale. So on x axis 1 cm is 20 degree of the cam rotation. So you can see over here the outstroke as we have seen it is 120. So 120 divided by this 20 so it is 6 cm. So this particular length will be of 6 cm and we have divided that into suppose say 6 equal part. Then the next is outstroke dwell that is 60 degrees. So 60 again divided by this 20 that is the 3 cm. So this length will be for 3 cm as you can see over here. Similarly this return stroke is of 120 degree. So it is 120 divided by this 20 that is 6 cm. Then as this outstroke is with simple harmonic motion, we have constructed this semicircle over here and we have divided it into six equal part. Now from point one, draw the horizontal line from point two also draw the horizontal line so that it will intersect this second line over here from point three and draw the horizontal line so that it can intersect over here at this particular point and name those particular parts. So as you can see over here, the horizontal line which we have drawn from one will intersect this our line from the first point at point A. Similarly, this horizontal line will intersect this particular vertical line at point B and so on. And then draw a smooth curve that is passing through these particular points. Then there is a dwell period, so it will remain at this particular position for 60 degree of rotation. Then the return stroke is of uniform velocity, so join this diagonal like this. And these are the points that is F, G, H, I, J, K. These are the distances which are important for us. So all these distances that is 1A, 2B, then this 3C. 4D, all these distances are important for us, not only for this outstroke, but also for the return stroke. Now, we'll see this particular construction with the help of animation. One more thing that on Y axis, we are having the scale as one centimeter is equal to one centimeter of the lift of the follower. Our lift of the follower is 30 mm, that is three centimeter. So this vertical distance will be of three centimeter. Now let us see how to construct this particular displacement diagram. We'll see the entire construction also afterwards in, few, in full animation form. So as explained earlier, we are drawing this displacement diagram. Dividing the semicircle, then drawing the vertical lines horizontal lines from the given particular part and then a smooth curve passing through those intersection points of A, B, C, etc. Similarly, in case of the return stroke also, we'll get this type of the construction. This we have already seen. Now let us see how to draw actually this particular cam profile. Now we know that the least radius of the cam is 5 cm. So we have drawn this circle of 5 cm. Then outstroke is 120 degree. Divide this circle 
into 6 equal part as shown over here during the out stroke then there is a dwell period then again divide the return, return stroke into 6 equal parts and draw these lines passing through this now as you can see over here these are the distances which we have measured correct? 0 0.75 1 0.5 0 0.25 those we are transferring over here on these lines and then we are drawing a smooth curve passing through these particular points so this is for the out stroke then there is a dwell period from this to this there is a dwell period similar to this this 3 cm 2.5 cm 2 and 1.5 those points they are also plotted over here and we have drawn a smooth curve that is this particular green curve passing through that those particular points so this blue line represents the what we can say out stroke then there is a out stroke dwell and then there is a return stroke so all these distances that is 3 centimeter 2.5 centimeter to 1.5 1.5 these are all transferred over here so this is 3 2.5 then 2 1.5 1 1.5 etc for this return stroke similarly for this out stroke also we have transferred all these distances over here now we'll see how actually we'll draw this particular diagram so let us start with our actual drawing of the cam profile so as the outstroke is of 120 degree divide it into six equal parts So we are dividing this outstroke of 120 into 6 equal parts. Then there is a dwell for 60 degree. Again, divide the return stroke into 6 equal parts. Now we'll draw the displacement diagram also simultaneously over here, which we have already seen how to draw it and how to measure the distances. And those distances will transfer on these particular lines. First, we'll start with the outstroke, as you can see over here. So as the outstroke is with simple harmonic motion, we'll draw the semicircle, then divide that particular semicircle into six equal part, 180 divided by six, so 30 degree angle we have taken so that we can divide that circle into six equal parts. Then look at these particular points on our semicircle. And join this with the center now transfer these points on the corresponding lines vertical lines which we have drawn and draw a smooth curve that is a simple harmonic motion now the points which we have marked on our circle transfer the given particular distances as you can see over here on those lines and then draw a smooth curve passing through this particular point so we are drawing these points of intersection with the line of this arc so this is our cam profile during the outstroke there is a dwell for the remaining degree so we have just drawn a curve over here then the return stroke is with uniform velocity again divide that particular return stroke of 120 divided by 20 that is 6 centimeter into 6 equal part and join this diagonal and these distances they are important for us so we are marking this point so that we can transfer these distances as we have seen earlier on our this particular blue lines so we are just marking the points on our circle Now transfer these distances
mark this point of intersection of this arc with this blue lines and then draw the curve so this is our complete cam profile thank you very much for watching